Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Covered Not Confined. Today, it's a special day. I'm going to meet an author. She's optimistic, she's beautiful, and she just left her job to write a book for children. So let's meet her. Speaking of, she's here. Hi. Hey. How are you? Good and you. Assalamu alaikum again you guys and here is Medina, the writer of this beautiful box and I will let you introduce yourself. Okay, thank you. So, Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Uh, I'm Medina, I'm 33 years old and I write children books. Yes. I have a lot of questions. Please do. To start with, why black and Afro girls okay. or people <laughs> whatever? <laughs> Why? Because, well, first of all, why not? Exactly. Right? The thing is that uh, there are a lot of um, character for children's book, and that is a great thing. And when I was younger, I used to read a lot also, uh, like Tintin, uh, Les Malheurs de Sophie, um, Tom Tom and Anna, and all those books were quite great. But none of those characters look like me, you know? And I know for sure that when you grew up with characters who just don't look like you, there is a lack of self-esteem. Yes. You know? Yes. Uh, now I'm 33 years old. I have some nephews and niece. And when I want to offer you, offer them, sorry, some children's book, I was still with the same issue. Like, yeah. where are the black people here? We don't have, we don't have books for black people. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, sometimes when you don't find out what you need, you have to do it yourself. Exactly. Exactly. So, that's why I... Um, that's why you that's choose why, Yeah. That's why I, that's, this is how it started. Okay. So, um... It's really nice how like you got inspired to get the books of Thank black you. people. Yeah. Just for like for children who like were were black to feel like they belong yeah. to something and yeah. they can relate to another story. Definitely. But uh, I have another question though like why an author? Like you couldn't like find anything else to um, send a message yeah. through other than being an author? Because I feel that I always uh, love writing. Okay. Don't get me wrong, uh, it's very hard for me to write stories. Okay. I mean, it, it's painful to me, honestly. But I always love writing. I mean, I wrote some essays and I wrote some... I used to write, when I was younger, some stories, but now I'm 33 years old, I'm not so young. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> so, I mean, it's been a while, but I, but I, did, but I didn't write stories, but I, I had the feeling that this was important. So, I decided to combine the fact that I love writing in general and the fact that people like me need story I thought that was the right thing to do nice so an author it is yeah yeah <laughs> all right um what was the motive, like, the what, motive. what motivated you other than um you need uh, you need you need uh, you need a book what other motivation okay. that you to have? me it looked like an emergency you know we are in um 2018 and still there is a lack of character uh, of diverse director uh, character sorry and the thing is that um diversity matters more than ever true today true. so uh, that was a kind of emergency that i felt and that's why i decided to you're so beautiful <laughs> you're so beautiful thank you okay so um the way that you talk about you loving writing and you looking for diversity and everything is it and actually you told me that you left your old job yeah. to write books yeah so is it like you've been an author is it your dream job or definitely not I mean, oh okay so it just happened yeah i mean people need to be honest about that i mean um I, 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 i'm not a i'm kind of passionate but i don't like people who just uh see the whole world with passions okay. i mean i love writing but this is not a patient this is a, a, a both a job okay. and a kind of emergency that i felt and the fact that i also love writing but okay. this is definitely not this is definitely not a patient or something a dream job or no it's just to me, like it came to me with the, with the days yeah. yeah but and i like writing don't get me wrong but i think that people need to stop talking about patient or dreaming job there is no such thing as dreaming job come on <laughs> i just grew up i realized i just like something and then i go to it yeah because i mean there are some very interesting jobs. Writing is a very, very interesting one. But come on, uh, they can be a dreaming job to me. I mean, to me. So, no, when I was younger, I wanted to be a pediatrician. Then I wanted to work um, 
in communication, okay. uh, with writing skills, you know. In so France, it's we still say, writing. Yeah, it's still writing. I mean, all of my um, career and um, choices for uh, college were for writing skills, you know. Um, I had a bac littéraire, that's what we say in France, because I love writing and okay. because I wanted to be, uh, in France we say, conceptrice, redactrice. Okay. Uh, that's the person who writes, um, um, how do you say that, the baseline and so on, like just do it or um, come as you are okay. and so on, yeah, okay. all those things. This is the conceptrice, redactrice who does it, so that was, that was my dream job back to that days because okay. uh, when I was younger I knew I mean that's what I thought I, I couldn't be like a writer or an artist because for my parents that didn't seem like a job you know yeah and I had like... to find a job with writing skills but um, more down on earth okay you know so that was not my dream job okay but still I love it okay um, do you miss your old life Okay, she did not grow not up with a hijab. She didn't <laughs> grow up. She didn't grow up like this at all. No. You know. Do you miss your old life? No. No, no, no. Honestly, that was um. That was a hard, tough choice to make. That okay. is for sure because um, I used to work in a communication in a big company, big fat company. Uh, <laughs> big fat. Company. Yeah, big fat company. Honestly, with a lot of people, a lot of working hours too. And that was very interesting and I do not regret uh, all my experiences, all my previous experiences because that is what brings me where I am today, of course. you know? But um, I do not regret it because that was a, a lot of hours working. Uh, I couldn't wear the hijab, uh, I couldn't pray at the well, right at time. The time yeah. And that was important to me, you know? When you grow up, you try to be better yeah and you try to put your religion in, first um, yeah first definitely first like in a central place yes you know that, that, that is what I felt like two years ago okay. and thanks to my new job I succeed okay to have all those things and I'm very happy with that okay so you started writing two years ago yeah okay cool cool and how is it going now <laughs> like how many books did you write did it like got sold writing a book uh, is not easy First. plus uh, the process is quite slow you know from the time that you start uh, writing to the time that um, the book is released uh, that might be one year okay so um, I gave up my last job two years ago okay. but then I start writing um, one year and a half ago okay okay so you so, didn't start right away after you No, because okay. I had to uh, found out what I what do you really do. want to do? Okay. Yeah, well, if I wanted to do, if I wanted to be like an independent author, uh, a author who work uh, for, I don't know how to say that, maison d'édition, publishing to publish the books. Yeah. Okay. So that's quite different, okay. uh, and that that took me some time to figure this out. So uh, I didn't write right away, and my first book I released it one year ago. Okay. Approximately. Okay. You know? And that one, the second one, okay. I released it. Something like maybe three three months ago. Okay. So for so now, you, for now you only wrote two books. Yeah. Okay. How did I wrote a lot, but <laughs> only those two have been oh, released. Two. Yeah. Okay. And um, how did it like? Was the sold good? Well, pretty good because you know, uh, for first book, generally uh, you sold something like six hundred books. Uh, the first one, uh, thank God, we sold something like two. 2000, 2000 book, That's yeah, in nice. one year, and uh, I'm an independent author, which means okay. that um, the distribution, I'll okay. say that, there are not a lot of places when you can find out where you can find that this book, so okay. that's a that's a good thing. And what about the second the second book though? The second book, the second book for now, it's almost uh, for 400, yeah, 400. In three months. Mashallah. Yes, that's, good. that's actually good. Thank that's God. good. That's good. And what kind of stories that do you have? Well, um, I'm, seeing, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a lot of faces <laughs> here, and it makes me want to like just get one and start reading. <laughs> okay. Sure. Okay. What is it about? Yourself. Well, uh, this story are uh, all around Neiba, who's the okay. main character, and Neiba is a little girl. This is Neiba. Yeah. Okay. He's quite noisy <laughs> and. Um, um, how to say that? She's quite funny. She, she goes just straight to the point. You know, Africans. To, you know, yeah. Africans. Straight African to the point. Way. Yeah. <laughs> and the first story is about a secret okay. uh, regarding his brother that she can keep. 
Okay. okay. So the thing is that in the first book, I really wanted to learn to the children why is it important to keep a secret. Okay. And why a, a secret um, makes you important when someone gives you a secret for not to talk. Okay. I mean, it makes you important. And what's the story about this? Uh, it's about cell phone. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cell phone and school, you know. Okay. Because uh, I have a lot of Lithuanians and I know that cell phone. Um, has a lot of impact. Yeah, nowadays, has a lot of impact yes. in, in their life, and I feel the need to talk about it in the second book. Okay, so what's what was what was the? Okay, so the message of the first book is to keep a secret. Yeah. Okay, and the second one. The what's second the one is more um, that you have to to learn as a child that having a cell phone has some consequences, okay. and that is why uh, cell phone are for. Or adults most okay. part of the time or teenage or adult but for people who just have some i don't know how to say that in english but some recul okay with things you okay. know okay all right <laughs> so what do you um okay you you've been you've been writing for two years now yeah uh, what are your goals like? well my goal is to um sell more and more book so more and more children can have characters who look like them and I also hope to release more and more books so I can uh, I can make my book a living. Okay, you yeah. Know? Yeah, and actually, actually also for the children to feel like related to something. Yeah, yeah. definitely. That's All right. very important to me. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> this was so good talking to you though. And um, Thank you. And I really feel, I really hope that a lot of children will get to these beautiful books for them to get uh, related to somewhere because a lot of children they get lost yeah. because they don't get they don't see a lot of people who look like them yes. so they can like talk about oh you li we're living the same thing yes. you know and so these books I really feel I really hope that a lot of children will you know will get will get one of these oh, books well. and inshallah God willing yeah inshallah <laughs> and to the moms that they will be watching get your child a book <laughs> get it it's so good and um, inshallah it will be helpful to all the children out there and uh, inshallah Medina will succeed to uh, I mean um, send out her message the message that she wants to, to send inshallah Amen. and um, to end all of this I would really love for you to give us a advice mm. to all the women out there <laughs> well to all the women out there uh, if I had one advice would be like to um, to be self-confident enough to believe that your intuition is valid, you know? Okay. When you feel like um, you have uh, something to tell, when you feel that you have something to do, do it. It will be very hard, that won't be easy, it's not an easy road, but if you feel like it, do, do it. it. Just go for it. Yeah. You, you face a lot of consequences, you will have to <laughs> sacrifice a lot. Yeah. But do it. Yeah? Definitely. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so this was the end of this beautiful, amazing day with Medina <laughs> and her beautiful characters. I'm so happy that there is actually an Afro. Yeah. She looks so pretty. That was important to me because I wear an Afro too, <laughs> right? So. <laughs> she looks so pretty and it's so beautiful. And Thank um, you. Stay blessed, you who are watching this. Stay you, be you, for you, you know. And uh, go chase that dream of yours because... You need it anyway, because it's your dream, you know, yeah. and you need to chase that dream of yours. Can I add something? Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, I just forgot that all the um, pictures uh, were drawn by a Muslim sister. Her name is Licia. Yes. You can find it out on Instagram. It's Lily Blah Blah. Her job is <laughs> Lili amazing. Blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Lily Blah Blah, because she talks a lot, <laughs> just like me. <laughs> And I think it's important uh, to mention her because uh, the book are uh, what we are because of her too. So, Lysia? We'll definitely mention all of you, Lily, blah, blah, and whatever she's saying, everything. <laughs> <laughs> it will be mentioned, inshallah, and may your job won't, even, won't, won't go like for nothing. Inshallah, everything will be for something and uh, you guys will reach your goals. And to you, stay blessed. Assalamu alaikum. Stay Salam. tuned to the next episode. Cover, not compile.